afternoon today in the last section what we have seen ananya in the dragon in that what we have seen that some things are imaginary some some things are true so in this lesson if we know uh, every story have some beginning middle and the end so in this section also we will see when we have to uh, when we are uh, Uh, reading the story what we we are seeing that uh, that story of ananya and the dragon what was there first the dragon was sad he was lonely and sad what was the dragon the dragon was lonely and sad then uh, after that in the uh, when we are uh, reading that story that time what we are seeing that the dragon was lonely and sad after that what uh, ananya comes and she uh, what she do Uh, she uh, go to the dragon and tell uh, and tell him that we uh, i want to have a drive on your back so what does the dragon do the dragon uh, said that i have a chain so i cannot fly after that in the middle what comes the uh, uh, the ananya flew with the dragon yes then what she did she took the key from his father's uh, cupboard and then he uh, she came and uh, she opened the chain of the dragon they both flew in the sky yes students they both flew in the sky after that what uh, what uh, what did ananya do ananya and the dragon do after that uh, when they flew uh, flew in the sky up and down when they were touching the sky and the moon the stars that time they were very happy so when his uh, what ananya's father saw what he did he took the key of from the from ananya and he threw in the um, uh, pod so that time what she saw that they both were happy the dragon and the ananya also they both were happy so in this poem in this story when we are reading the story there is some beginning middle and the end every story have the beginning middle and the say and the end so when we are uh, doing uh, when we are when we don't uh, when, when we don't have that story learn means we have not read the story as well as we have to learn the uh, where we have to see that story what uh, what we will you will see the beginning middle and the end if you knows the beginning middle and the say middle and the end then you know the story very well you can write the story also very well so when we are reading the story that times every uh, if you don't doesn't know anything about that story so it is very nice then you can see that uh, what is in the beginning some sentences are given in the uh, uh, before that time what is uh, beginning what is that is from the beginning uh, what we'll see we will imagine what uh, ananya was do, an, what the dragon was doing he was what uh, thinking about and after that ananya in the middle where they flew means this is the middle of the uh, story that ananya and the dragon flew in the sky so this is the middle and and at the end what what he did his father took the key and he threw into the pond means uh, when you are reading this story that time we knows that all the story very properly if you have not read the story of ananya and the dragon you can imagine many things in that but when you will imagine some small things are there in that that uh, how like means that ananya took the key from his uh, father's cupboard what she did she took the key from his uh, father's cupboard these small small things will not you you, uh, you will not add in that but you have when you see in the beginning uh, what uh, ananya uh, what the dragon was doing that time you will uh, feel the whole story then you can write it very properly the story so every story have the beginning middle and the end what we have seen now today the beginning middle and the same in the story what we have seen beginning we have seen the beginning middle and the end means every story when you are uh, reading your when you are writing the story 
you will see what is in the beginning you will imagine and you will write the story very properly with your imagination so when you have you know the beginning of the story you will very quickly understand how the story comes and how uh, how you will imagine that time the story will be very clear to you after that in the middle what uh, in the middle what some sentences are given so you will see that in the middle this was happened so you can very uh, you can write it then very easily there and at the end when the end is given of the story so that time you will feel that you will see you will also uh, write the end properly means this every story want the beginning middle and the end so students you understood this lesson when you are writing when you are writing or when you are uh, writing a story when you are reading a story everything is very clearly when the beginning middle and the end when you uh, when you means uh, what, where, what where, and many times you feel that where what is the beginning what is in the middle when you uh, when you imagine the, uh, when, when you got this beginning sentence <coughs> then you will know the middle uh, middle also and at the end also of the story then you can write it very properly yes now in the next section in assignment i will give you some things that you should write it very properly okay thank you students for all this